Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a small food pantry haul for you. This is our local, or our, sorry, our county food bank. And for them, you're allowed to come in once a month and shop and pick out what you want. want. And then they also have what they call a commodities day, which is, I think it's whatever they have extra of or that they have had large donations of. Um, or maybe things that are getting ready to go out of date. I'm not sure how it works, but it just kind of seems like maybe that's what's going on. Um, so you'll see that in like large quantities of some canned foods, that kind of thing. So let me show you what we got. We have 12 cans of um, peaches, which is super nice because those are going on a shelf and getting eaten a little bit of time. Um, we have five kids, so we have to do two of these cans for like a lunch or a breakfast as a side. Um, and if we, if my husband eats, it'd be a third can. Um, there's a whole flat or 12 cans of um, sliced potatoes. If you have any recipes for those, let me know. I don't know a whole lot about using sliced potatoes because, or canned potatoes, because we've always just used um, fresh potatoes. So if you have a really good recipe for that, let me know um, and how to use them. There are four cans of sweet corn, three cans of spaghetti sauce, two cans of asparagus, which I'm excited about. I've never had canned asparagus either, so I'm going to have to look up some recipes for that as well. I love me and some, some asparagus. So um, Today they had a lady in there that um, was with a local organization that um, took items from, that we regularly get at the food pantry and combined them together to make a recipe and then she had little cups for samples and then they gave us some of the ingredients for it. So today it was a, like a chicken enchilada type dish. So they even um, gave us the cut up tortillas for it, um, a can of cream of chicken soup and a can of diced tomatoes and then you could use canned pork is what they, um, she used today, but then you could also use canned chicken. Um, and I think even beef would be good, ground beef in it. So I've got, they give you a piece of paper with the full recipe on it. So that was kind of neat, something different. Um, and nice to have a little snack at the place. Um, there are three bags of this chicken seasoned rice and beans, and it's even fortified with vitamins and protein, which is awesome if you are hungry, hungry. If you, you know, if you're going days between meals that kind of thing this would be an amazing thing i think it would be really good made into soup um and maybe add in like a, a can of sweet corn and um, maybe some diced up carrots something like that would make a really nice hearty soup um and they're also shelf stable which is awesome um would also be useful for um in the winter if the power goes out as long as you have like a fire or a, a grill to cook on, you could boil some the water to, that takes to cook that. So anyway, uh, there is a jug of grapefruit juice. Um, there's two things of bread. They have a shelf and you get to pick out two things of bread and one dessert. We skipped on dessert this time. Um, we just spent the weekend with my family and my kids ate dessert to their heart con heart's content. So I think we need a sugar detox for a while. Um, but there's this loaf of tr um, seeds and grains bread that my kids really like. And then I got this loaf of um, honey wheat rolls and my kids love these. So um, I may end up making like some sliders for lunch today. Some lunch meat sliders for them for lunch today. Um, there are three pounds of butter. I mean, can we hear the baby angel singing? Uh, this is one of those things that I absolutely love when we get this because um, butter, you can freeze it if you didn't know so that it keeps for longer. And I love butter. I, that is my preferred fat of choice for cooking with and baking with and all that. So yum. There are four of these packages of um, box, mini boxes of raisins. So those will go in the snack box for my kids. And they were already excited about those because they like some raisins. So, and just the fun of the little individual boxes. Those are also nice to like toss in my purse and take to church with me for the little one to snack on because it keeps her little fingers busy and her little mouth. <laughs> Uh, they had their um, diaper pantry, which my daughter has already taken off with the diapers. It comes with a, a pack of diapers, and it's usually 10 to 15 diapers, a pack of wipes, 
um, and then a little kid's book. And then it also has some papers in it with some local resources. On that shelf, they also had several of these things. There was quite a few of these different squeezy flavors, so I picked up some of those. I picked up one of these little jars of um, apple cinnamon oatmeal that I thought my baby would probably enjoy having that as a little snack or treat. And then they had these little baby probiotic drops, so I picked up a box of those. There's also a dozen eggs. These fully cooked sausage or pork patties, I guess not sausage, but pork patties. And then two five pound bags of chicken breasts. And I think, I think these are bone in, yeah, I think they're bone in skin off. Um, I prefer bone in skin on just because that adds so much more flavor to it, but I definitely like it with the, um, the bone in because you get juicier meat that way. But having two packages of this is super helpful because this is something that I can pull out even frozen and throw it in my oven and bake it for a couple of hours and it be done and I don't have to have, oh no, I forgot to thaw out meat for dinner. So... Yeah, that's everything we got. Um, once again, huge blessing. Um, and there's always those favorite items like, oh, I don't think I said the cheese. Um, there's three one pound blocks of cheese as well. So there's always those favorite items like cheese and butter um, because those are expensive. So to get those and the meat, those kind of things are always so helpful. And then, like I said, those canned goods are always so nice because they're shelf stable. They're nice for um, the power's out in the middle of winter and you need to feed kids and you have no way of cooking. So, and those are just nice because they can sit on a shelf for as long as they need to. So, like I said, if you have any recipes using the sliced potatoes, let me know, or the, the canned asparagus, let me know. Um, yeah, because, uh, like I said, I've never used either one of those before and I would love to know some different ways of using them. So that's everything. Like I said, I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.